Mr. Secretary, first of all, welcome to Singapore for the 8th Shangri-La Dialogue. It's very good to see you here, and we're looking forward to an interesting weekend um, with a lot of um, interesting exchanges and hopefully fruitful discussion. I wonder if, first of all, I could just ask you, what do you find particularly useful um, about the Shangri-La Dialogue from the Philippines' perspective? Oh, thank you, Doctor. And first of all, it's a great uh, honor and uh, privilege being here once again. Uh, there are two general areas of interest to the Philippines. Of course, uh, regional security and uh, the uh, global security situation is of relevance to the Philippines. Uh, our uh, internal security situation, of course, uh, is affected naturally by the global security situation in the sense that we are an open society and we welcome the community of nations to help us uh, in the peaceably settling our internal security situations. Secondly, in very, very big general area is international cooperation in, term, in terms of addressing natural calamities, disasters, and possible pandemics. Recently in the Philippines, we had the uh, voluntary demonstration of response under the auspices of the ASEAN Regional Forum, where uh, no less than 26 different countries participated in the first ever exercise with a tsunami scenario. Uh, thirdly, of course, it provides uh, a forum where we can have bilateral discussions between and amongst defense ministers and secretaries. You, you mentioned the, the, the bilateral sessions, which of, of course are held behind the scenes and, yes. and they're private. Um, w would it be fair to say that each year in the Shangri-La Dialogue um, you hold a good number of, of bilaterals? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And have those increased o over time? Unfortunately for this year, because of my peculiar schedule this year, there will not be that many bilaterals, although we see a tendency not merely to increase in number, but in scope. Sure. Yes. Um, well, it, I think it's terrific that um, countries such as the Philippines are able to benefit in those those two ways through the through the the open discussions and through the the closed door discussions. Uh, one one final question, Mr. Secretary: um, Are there any particular sessions in in this year's dialogue which you think will be of particular interest to the Philippines? Well, naturally, we're tasked to deliver the paper on counterinsurgencies. The uh, sessions dealing with internal security are important to the Philippines given our internal security situation where we have to deal with the security situation with a combination of uh, um, military, using military and police forces and a combination too of peacefully settling disputes with the help of interested uh, third party nations. Well, thank you very much um, for those very interesting and illuminating comments, and we hope that you uh, find you and your delegation find um, this eighth Shangri-La dialogue uh, particularly useful. Thank you very much, Doctor, and we look forward to participating in more. You see, a final word: the Philippines is a unique country, not unlike the Absolutely. other in the world, with a combination of East and West, and dialogue, the openness of the society, freedom, and democracy under a spirit of free exchange of ideas is very important to us. Thank you very much, and that's very much in the spirit of the Shangri-La Dialogue too. Yes, Doctor, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.